Uh, what was the suit called anyway? I can't remember. Interceptor. The Interceptor. That's what it was called. Guess we get to play around with our new chosen suit. See what this guy has to say. Okay, so we have not really looked at all this. I don't know what any of these things are. We need to actually look at them or what the case is. And it just says we have 12 slots used out of 250. Well, whatever. Let's see. Oh, that's the menu. The journal. What's this other button do? Oh, wow. I have not seen this. We did not see this last time. I guess I never pressed this button. But we get an actual map of where we're at. That's pretty useful. So this is down below where we spawned. This shows challenges, news feed. Oh, we, we spawned here. Ah, that's cool. So now we actually get to see where things are. So there's the vault where we just were. There's uh, the forge and then what's your name standing next to it. That's where we need to be. Yeah, there's not much else on here. Cool. Well, that's kind of handy. All right, let's just uh, move on and see if we can accept or just push the story forward. See what happened. Oh, that looks pretty cool, huh? Interceptor. It looks fast. All right, press A. Let's get in. A little claustrophobic there. Cool, okay, so we have an expedition tutorial. Oh man, we're still in the tutorial? I thought we were done with it. Alright, review mission, difficulty level, privacy settings. Nah. Oh, you know what? Privacy settings might be good because I just want to do solo missions. I don't know if we can do only solo missions or what. Uh, invite players by pressing RB. Launch mission by pressing X. So we need to press down the right stick to review mission, difficulty level, and privacy settings. I really want to set the privacy settings um, to, I hope, solo. So here we go, privacy settings. You have selected the public setting. This is the best way to experience Anthem. Public setting allows for other players to join your game. I really want to do private right now just to see how that works. They accept, and then normal difficulty, let's see. Oh wow, we have a lot of difficulty levels. Holy moly. Higher difficulty means greater danger, greater rewards. Obviously risk versus rewards. Uh, the higher the risk, the greater the reward. That's logical. Grand master difficulty unlocks with game progress. Wow, oh, look at these settings. Recommended for players who want to focus on the narrative. Hmm, that's easy. Normal is for balanced experience. And then hard. And everything else is locked. Level 30. Level 30. Oh, everything is level 30, basically. Wow. That's... It kind of gives me that Diablo 3 feel where you have... Um, you know... Your normal tier, your epic tiers, hard, you know, that's, it's kind of cool. I guess it gives more longevity of playtime. Um, get you able to have more time invested. Obviously, you can't do these higher tiers until you're better equipped and know the game well. So, that's kind of cool. I think we'll stay with normal. It seems to be fine so far. I guess we can go, we always can go back and select um, easy if we really can't finish quest or if it's too hard. All right, so locate Arcanist Matthias Sumner, the Shaper expert. Uh, wow, what is this? 
Social tutorial. Select an empty slot. Open up with friends, favorites, recommended to invite players. Oh, I don't want to do that. Alright, let's just... Let me exit out. Okay. Oh. We don't have to do this, do we? Oh, we can just select start. Let's select this. I want to just see the map for a minute. Expedition map tutorial. So this is where we need to look around the map. And the only thing we have accessible, of course, is this. Select that. It was already selected, so no big deal. I'm just kind of looking around the map here. All right, so this is the next thing, the squad, which we're not going to be doing. Let's see, consumables. Um, oh, these give boost for one expedition only. Yeah. We can't even use them yet. We're not even level 10. Yeah. Oh, what am I doing? We just exited. <laughs> we're going to get back in. I keep forgetting, you don't have to hit buttons, you just have to use the left stick to go back and forth to the various menus. Yeah. Alright, let's get, go ahead and start the expedition. Here we are, freelancer. You ready to jump in? Yes, I am. Well then, let's not keep that big bad world waiting. Our contract is to locate an arcanist named Matthias. Tassin has given us the last location where he made contact. Yeah, this feels nice and light. Wow. The weather is not too great. I wonder if, uh, since this is the only javelin we've played so far, I, since it's nice and light feeling, I wonder if, if we choose the Colossus, if it's going to be more heavy feeling, if there's like a weighty, weighty feel to it. This is very nice. Zoom in. Okay. Nice. Okay. I just wonder if there's uh, stuff we need to look for here or not. Can we jump down? Yeah, we can. Okay. Okay. What is this? Battery gun or something. I was thinking there's stuff over here that we could pick up, but there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. This does look like a pretty cool environment, though. I like the roll ability. That is still cool. Oh, wow. We have thrusters in the leg, too. Let's cool off a little bit. The location Tassin gave us must be close. I'm detecting the camp's shortwave radio. Not seeing anyone. Oh, and anything? You know, lots of broken equipment. Obviously, Arkin is made. Otherwise, no, nothing but the radio. And no Matthias. No sign of Matthias. Okay, here. Hold to interact. All right, so we're just going to kind of go from camp to camp, trying to find whatever. I wonder if it, does it make any sense to explore the area? I don't know. Here, we get some more resources. Wow. 
Alright, let's, uh, let's just go over to where we need to be quickly. What is this? Okay, I've got a new trail. We'll need to get to the location I've marked for better reception. Guess we'll just keep on going. Anything else I should know? Besides that Arcanists get themselves in trouble by being out here. About Matthias. Brilliant and reckless. He has a reputation among the Arcanists. Not a good one. Having a bad reputation is chapter one of the Freelancer's Handbook. Alright, so here's another camp, I guess. And these circles, I guess we have to fly through them. Or at least get to them. Trying to find out if there's anything else worth looking around at. The radio signal is getting stronger. Clearly, Matthias established more than one camp. So it is kind of nice that it's raining because it keeps the suit cooled down. That's kind of nice. I kind of feel like we, oh, what is this? A dead body. I kind of feel like we're missing out on stuff. It's like, is there no other loot on the ground or anything? Uh, let's see if we can go somewhere else. We're just going to keep flying over here. Radio beacon. I think it's getting stronger this way. Oh, there's three lines now on the radio beacon. Down this way. Hmm. All right, we're getting there. That's where the signal is coming from. We can use it to help search for another camp. It'll take time. Okay, get started. All right, let's hold the activate. Oh, great. Savages. Multiple signals, they are everywhere! Are you done with the radio? No, still working on it. Destroy any hives that pop up that can cut off reinforcements. Hives mean more scars. Got okay. It. What are those guys called? Gotta melee them probably at some point. Oh. Wow, there is uh It's quite actually quite hard to The only way to stop the scars is to destroy their hives. Uh gotta destroy their hive.
How do we do the uh here? We have to get on those scar hives quickly. Yeah, I'm going. Clear okay. out those remaining scars. Radio signal. Still working on it. See if we can uh get our health back up. Oh, I forgot about the ultimate thing. Oh boy. Alright. Just fiddling with the radio signal for the next location. Oh, stand, just hurry up. Of course, lots of stake, I know. Alright, so obviously red is the health stuff that's on the ground. Oh my gosh, more. Seriously? Okay. So we gotta find the hive again on this. Oh, there's a hive right there. Let's see if we can just do the ultimate on it. Make sure you destroy any hives you see. Can we just... Yes, there we go. I don't understand what the ultimate was on this thing. It must just be uh, melee stuff. Oh boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get over here and wait it out. There's another hive over there. We'll get to that. Here it is. The only way to stop the scars is to destroy their hives. Got it. That's the last of those horrible things. Now finish off the remaining scars. Targeting is just so difficult with a controller. Holy moly. Just not used to it. Okay. Wow, we were almost dead. Finally. So, Again? I've never seen this much scar activity. What is going on? Where's the hive? We need the hive. Where's the damn hive, dude? Are there no, uh, is, where's the hive? I'm not even seeing a hive anywhere. Strange. 
guess we just have to finish him off. Alright, let's heal, heal quick. Oh. Where's he ran into? Okay, I'm looking for a signal booster, right? Yes, should be close. All you need to do is turn it on. Okay. Guess this is it. Signal booster is working. I'm heading up the stairs, hoping to find refuge. Scars in pursuit. Matthias? He still can't hear us. I've got a location. Getting dark. Ah, right, here we go. Wait, where do we have to go now? Pull off a minute. go through these doors here or the rings whatever they call them pick up some more minerals yeah we're getting somewhere like a big bad place now this looks like it's possibly the end of the of this quest here darkwood barons okay we'll have to go here oh more stuff Taking it apart. Oh. We fix that. I bet we reach Matthias. Oh, we need to kill these guys. Get this one. What's happening with the scars? Something has the range. Uh see if there's a hive somewhere. There is no hive anywhere. Hmm. You just have to keep killing them, I think. Probably another wave. Oh, that doesn't look like a repair. Did you just let me? Oh, damn it! Hang on, we've got company. Can it be fixed? Yes, of course. Just deal with the scars. I'll figure it out. Oh, nice. What? What are those? Oh, you can't. Get out of here for a minute. No shield, oh god. Let's 
see if we can heal up here or something. Ay, ay, ay. Definitely hard. This looks serious. Very serious. What is that big guy? Wow. What is that? Watch out for the flamethrower. Wow. Okay. Do these guys constantly respawn then? That's no good. Okay. So do we need to get rid of the big guy first? Most likely, I'm guessing so. I got the big guy. Hmm. So here's the ultimate, really the uh, the melee thing, whatever that is. There's no loot. Nothing to pick up. What is this? Oh, gosh. What is this? Oh, wow. What? Oh, man. Okay, that was no good. Wow. Hold the repair. It's working. I've got a location. Patch it with eyes through. I'm calling anyone in the area. I need help. There are scars everywhere. It works. Matthias, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Thank goodness. There's no time. I'm hiding, but the scars are so thick. I can see them. You must hurry. Just hang on. We're coming. So do we have a map? Like an overview? Oh yeah, I see. Map tutorial. Nice. Okay. I wonder if it pauses the game or not. Okay. Oh, uh, it shows how we walked and it just shows us running in circles. That's funny. That is cool that it shows you a trail of what you've done or where you've been. Cool. All right, let's go, uh, where's the, where's the, oh, over here, over here, okay. What is that symbol? The dungeon. Go there. I was like exploring now. 
checking out everything. Is there a map of this area? No. It just shows the outdoor map. I was thinking that there was like a dungeon indoor map that was being showed, but I guess not. Yeah, let's just keep on going up here. Nothing else to pick up? I don't think so. You'd think there'd be some things to pick up, like resources and stuff. See anything? A few spots of trouble. Near misses. They're quite relentless. Okay, well, we'll have to go um, help them out. I can see um, how this would be beneficial to play with multiple people because there's just so much going on. And it's almost. I wouldn't say impossible to do by yourself, but it is a lot of shooting. There's a lot of enemies. And I imagine it's only going to get tougher as we get through the game further. Wait, what's this? I found some canisters. Hmm. Could prove useful. Don't try anything dangerous. Not to worry. It'll be a contained explosion. I think you better hurry. Wait, what canisters are we talking about, dude? You mean what we just walked past? These canisters? I'm not sure what the canisters you even mean. I do hear some uh, bad things. There's some bad things around. Alright, let's go in here. Now, yeah, I guess it wants us to go up. I mean, the environments are cool though. They're very detailed, very well fleshed out. Man, this underground area is huge. Oh, uh, there's something. There's something evil over there. Oh, there's a bunch of evil stuff over there. All right. I don't think we can sneak around. They probably already know that we're here. Oh, yep. Our weapon's not that good, to be honest. Can we just keep shooting these guys or do they keep respawning? See, I never know if they keep respawning or not. That's frustrating. Definitely frustrating. Oh, wow. Okay, so we do need to get the hives. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's hard to fly in here. Ah. 
Alright, so at least that one's done. Alright, we need to find that other hive. I'd rather clear out the hives than clear out the bad guys first. guys oh here they are I hate those homing wrestle things it's stupid here we go get some more health oh seeker You can actually kill the Seekers though, that's cool. Finish this off or what? Yes, he is done. Oof, let's clean up the rest of them now, shall we? Oh, goodness. Shouldn't have been so hard. All right, and we ended up at the forge. Let's press A. When I... so we still have a couple of locked items here. Not exactly sure what we're supposed to be doing with this. Multiple slots to equip items. Oh, we can have a second gun. Hmm. 
That's cool. And where does this run? That one in there, like a shotgun. So now we have two different weapons we can choose from. Nice. Alright, what is this? Venom bomb. Plasma star. I don't know what these things are, but... Cool. Support system locked. And components. Not sure what that means either. Freelancer. Thanks for the save. That trouble was unexpected. You often hang around outside the walls like that? Occupational hazard. But this was different. Something's making the scars more violent. I think it's the Dominion. We think they're back. I'm sure you must know Freelancer Yaro. <sighs> I think Tassin's right. This feels like before the attack on Freemark. The one that set off the Heart of Rage? I don't really know the whole story. I do. Much of what I am about to tell you is not well known. My ward, Johnny, was there ten years ago. She saw it with her own eyes. What you will already know is that Freemark was one of the great cities of Bastion. Ancient, proud, prosperous. But most important, it held the largest and greatest enclave of freelancers anywhere. The freelancers, along with the Sentinels, guardians of the walls, protected Freemark and its people from the chaos of our world. Until one day, the Dominion arrived on their doorstep. Cruel conquerors from the North. The Dominion, the Sentinels, and the Freelancers would make their claim for Freemark that day. Each group heirs in their own right to the legendary General Tarsis and her Legion of Dawn. One of our best, Freelancer Adams, led the charge as the Enclave left to meet the Dominion forces head on. My Johnny says the army was massive. The Dominion was led by Dr. Harkin, a man never seen before or after that day. He came to take the city at any cost. So they fought, outnumbered, outflanked, and outgunned. Freelancers fought. They did well for a time. But the walls of the great free mark did not hold. The Dominion poured in. Adams, with many freelancers, made their last stand outside the city walls. While some, like Johnny, stayed to help who she could. When, without warning, the doomed sentinels fell back. 
But now I tell you that deep in the city, Johnny discovered what the Sentinels already knew. The Dominion didn't want to destroy Freemark. They wanted to capture an ancient Shaper relic that was protected deep inside the city. The Cenotaph. It seems this Dr. Harkin believed he had created a way for the Dominion to use the Cenotaph to control the Anthem of Creation itself. Arrogance. The Anthem will not be controlled. The terrible cataclysm which was Unleashed that day, destroyed Freemark, destroyed the Dominion, destroyed everything. That cataclysm became the heart of rage. Some survived to tell the story of Freemark, but not many. Dominion must be back for a reason. I clearly have more intel to hunt down. Come and find me later. Yeah, me too. I'll contact you when I have something. I'll be in the Enclave. All right, so that's a little bit of the history of how things became as they were. Guess we should just go on to the yellow marker. Visit Bazaar and meet with a sparrow. <laughs>